In this video, we're going to talk about what MDMA is. So without further ado, let's begin. What does it look like? Ecstasy comes in pill or powder form. When it's a powder, it's called by its chemical name MDMA, but it's the same drug as ecstasy. Ecstasy pills can be white, colored, round, square, or pressed into any shape. Some pills have designs stamped into them. Like well-known company logos that the pills are then named after, ecstasy powder looks like white, gray crystals, and it's called MDMA. What does it taste slash smell like? Ecstasy pills are usually swallowed and MDMA is usually rubbed, dabbed into the user's gums. They both taste bitter and unpleasant. Ecstasy pills. Ecstasy pills are usually swallowed, although some people crush them up and snort them. The amount of MDMA in ecstasy pills varies massively. Some pills sold as ecstasy actually contain other more dangerous drugs that take longer to kick in. For this reason, you should never take a whole pill in one, even if you've taken ecstasy before. Drinking too much including water, can also be dangerous. Users should sip no more than a pint of water or a non-alcoholic drink every hour. MDMA powder. People usually take MDMA powder by dabbing it onto their gums or by swallowing it wrapped in cigarette paper, which is sometimes called bombing. MDMA users often start by dabbing just a small amount of powder and waiting for the effects to kick in. Like with pills, drinking too much, including water, can also be dangerous. Users should sip no more than a pint of water or non-alcoholic drink every hour. How does it make you feel? Most people feel very happy, loved up. Users often feel love and affection for the people they're with and the strangers around them. Also, they feel energized and also alert as well. Ecstasy can make people feel more in tune with their surroundings and like the music is more intense, which is why people sometimes take it at nightclubs and at parties. Some users have reported feelings of anxiety, panic attacks, confused episodes, paranoia, and even psychosis after taking ecstasy. MDMA affects the brain by increasing the activity of at least three neurotransmitters, the chemical messengers of the brain cells, serotonin, dopamine, and norepinephrine. Like other amphetamines, MDMA enhances the release of these neurotransmitters and or blocks the reuptake, resulting in increased neurotransmitter levels within the synaptic cleft, the space between the neurons at the synapse. MDMA causes greater release of serotonin and norepinephrine than of dopamine. Serotonin is a neurotransmitter that plays an important role in the regulation of mood, sleep, pain, appetite, and other behaviors. The excess release of serotonin by MDMA likely causes the mood elevating effects people experience. However, by releasing large amounts of serotonin, MDMA causes the brain to become significantly depleted of this important neurotransmitter, contributing to the negative psychological after effects that people may experience for several days after taking MDMA. How does it make people behave? Lots of people feel very chatty and uninhibited on ecstasy, which makes them open up and talk about things they might not do normally. Physical side effects can include dilated pupils, tingling sensations, tightening or moving of the jaw muscles, gurning, raised body temperature, and a faster heartbeat and nausea as well. How long the effects last and the drug stays in your system depends on how much you've taken, your size, whether you've eaten, and what other drugs you may have taken also. To kick in, when taken orally, ecstasy normally takes 30 minutes to kick in, but it could take as little as 20 minutes, or it may take over an hour or more. Some other more dangerous drugs sold as ecstasy take longer to kick in. How long it lasts. Users tend to feel high for two to four hours. You might still experience some physical effects like fast heartbeat or insomnia, not being able to sleep for a few hours after you stop feeling high, especially if you've taken a lot of MDMA. After effects. Some people find that ecstasy makes them feel down in low mood in the next day, known as the come down. This can last for several days. How long will it be detectable? Ecstasy can normally be detected in a urine test between 1 to 4 days after taking it. How long a drug can be detected for it depends on how much it's taken and which testing kit is used. This is only a general guide. The risks involved with MDMA include the following. Physical health risks. Because the strength of ecstasy pills are so unpredictable, if you do decide to take ecstasy, you should start by taking half or even a quarter of the pill and then wait for the effects to kick in before taking any more. You may find that that is enough when all is said and done. 
If you're taking MDMA, start by dabbing a small amount of powder only, then wait for the effects to kick in. Use of ecstasy has been linked to liver, kidney, and heart problems. Some users report getting colds and sore throats more often when they take ecstasy. Anyone with a heart condition, blood pressure problems, epilepsy, or asthma can have a very dangerous reaction to the drug. Ecstasy affects the body's temperature control. Dancing for long periods in a hot atmosphere like a club increases the chances of overheating and dehydration. Users should take regular breaks from the dance floor to cool down and watch out for any mates who are on it, as they might not realize they're in danger of overheating or getting dehydrated. Drinking too much, including water, can also be dangerous. This is because ecstasy can cause the body to release a hormone which stops it making urine. If you drink too quickly, you might affect your body's salt balance, which can be as deadly as not drinking enough water. Users should sip no more than a pint of water or non-alcoholic drink every hour. Mental health risks. Evidence suggests that long-term users can suffer from memory problems and may develop depression or anxiety. What is ecstasy cut with? There's no way of knowing what's inside your ecstasy pill or MDMA powder until you've taken it. Even testing kits may not find everything. You may be at risk from other drugs and ingredients added to the pill or powder as well as to the ecstasy itself. Ecstasy pills are sometimes cut with amphetamines like speed, caffeine, and other substances that have similar effects but are cheaper to produce. Some pills are cut with stimulants that are slower to kick in than MDMA, and so users have taken more of the pill or pills and then overdosed. Always start by taking a half or a quarter of the pill first. You may find that that is enough. MDMA powder can also be cut with other ingredients. You should always start by taking a very small amount to begin with and wait for the effects to kick in before deciding whether to take any more MDMA. Can you get addicted? It's possible to build up tolerance to ecstasy, which means people need to take more of the drug to get the same buzz. You may also develop a psychological dependence, which is a strong desire to keep on using even if you think your use is having harmful consequences. All content is credited to talktofrank.com and drugabuse.gov. Thanks for watching. As always, cheers and ciao. Until next time. Stay tuned for more to come. Peace. Be easy, guys.